everyone today we have our seniors with us who had just completed their state exams so let us ask them few questions about it how did you prepare for your exam and what strategies worked the best for you uh, hello my name is gitika i'm from hyderabad uh, studying in state medical university 6th year uh, today we completed our uh, oski exam uh, generally for the, before this oski exam we had an internship period in which ma'am told us the oski examinations and how to do the practical skills and all we took a notes of each and every class that helped us a lot during the preparation time and we just revised and some additional uh, additional references also we took from uh, our mams which they sent in pdf form that helped us a lot so the university provided you all the material for yes, the university provided material and also practical skills they showed before the exam so that helped us a lot and my question is uh, during your peak revisions how many hours uh, did you dedicated for your revisions hello first of all my name is naushad i am from kerala i am a student of the final year Uh, regarding um, during the revision period, I dedicated a period of around like three to four hours daily for my revisions because most of the practical skills were explained during our internship period because the last year final year was fully comprised of internship, hospital rotations, and working in hospital. So most of the things we actually got the knowledge from the hospitals and internship duties. So it was not of a big of a hassle um, to prepare for this final exam because most of the questions were related to. the practical skills and the duties which we performed like in the hospitals so it was easy for me and dedicating a period of 3 to 4 hours was more than enough for this exams so uh, like this exam considered of how many subjects in total actually here the oski consists of um, a total of 23 subjects it all it includes practical skills um, and the theory knowledge questions also the each subject has its own like practical versions of questions and the situational task The situational task comprises of the all the theory questions which we uh, learn during our subjects. So it actually twenty three subjects are there. So thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Hello ma'am. Hi. Hello sir. Since you had your exam today, so can you please share your experience with your juniors? So what was your reaction when you saw your question paper? Was it easy or difficult for you? Actually it was I was very happy while I saw my paper because it was already prepared and uh, we prepare we got exam questions and everything beforehand so we were able to prepare on time. So I was actually happy that it is done and I was satisfied with my exam. Thank you ma'am. And sir can you please tell us about the procedure of the exam about the steps of the exam how it how it is conducted and how many parts it is conducted uh, so this is a final state exam and it has two steps first is the mcq based exam uh, after clearing the first step after clearing mcq uh, we will proceed for the second step that is osk exam uh, it is a viva exam in this we have 23 subjects and each subject has uh, one situational task and two practical questions so we have to answer and after getting those answer correct uh, we have Uh, finally pass the exam today so thank you sir thank you so much for giving thank your you. time thank you good morning ma'am since you had your state exam today what advice would you like to give to your juniors for giving a similar exam in their future hello good morning myself vanshika and i just completed my state exam and it was very nice the advice i just want to give to the students that please start studying from your third year and attend all your classes thoroughly revise every subject and just pay attention to whatever the teachers are telling you and seeing you and the practical skills what they are performing because this will only help you in your future for guiding the things you need to learn thank you so much i hope they will follow whatever you said yeah and ma'am which part of the exam uh, you found the most difficult which subject 
ओके लाइक फॉर मी इफ आई टेल अबाउट दिस आई फाउंड द ट्रोमेटोलॉजी टू बी मोर डिफिकल्ट बिकॉज इट हैज़ मोर ऑफ द प्रैक्टिकल एस्पेक्ट्स बट ओवरऑल इफ आई टॉक द ऑस्के एग्जाम वॉज वेरी नाइस एंड एवरी थिंग वॉज थॉट टू अस बिफोर हैंड सो वी हैड अ गुड नॉलेज एंड इन दिस इंटर्नशिप पीरियड वी गॉट टू नो अ लॉट ऑफ प्रैक्टिकल स्किल्स ड्यू टू विच द एग्जाम वॉज ईजियर एंड फॉर एज सच देर वर नो हार्ड सब्जेक्ट समथिंग बट इट वॉज गुड ओवरऑल इट वॉज गुड सो इफ यू स्टार्ट प्रिपेयरिंग अर्ली नो सब्जेक्ट वुड बी डिफिकल्ट Okay ma'am thank you so thank much Thank you so much thank you So congratulations sir for passing your state exam Sir aap sabko apni journey ke bare mein batao jo aapka experience tha Yaar journey to hamari Ukraine se shuru hui uske baad transfer fir Uzbekistan aur isme sabse zyada main thank karna chahunga hamare sir ka hamare mentor ka Sunil sir ka jinhone humko yahan pe padhne ka mauka diya jinhone hamara sara documentation karwaya हमें किसी भी तरह की यहाँ पे दिक्कत नहीं आने दी बाकी हमारे फिफ्थ सिक्स ईयर में कोई भी ऐसी पढ़ाई से रिलेटेड कोई दिक्कत नहीं आई फिफ्थ ईयर में इंटर्नशिप हमारी चली सिक्स ईयर में इंटर्नशिप हमारी चली उसके बाद आज एग्ज़ाम रहा टीचर्स वगैरह सब बहुत कॉपरेटिव थे हेल्पफुल थे सब ने बहुत बढ़िया से मदद करी और सर आ, जो न्यू एस्पिरेंट्स हैं जो यहाँ पर एडमिशन लेना चाहते हैं आप उनको कैसे रेकमेंड करोगे समरकंद स्टेट मेडिकल यूनिवर्सिटी क्योंकि जैसे आपका आज प्रैक्टिकल एग्जाम था तो कैसे आपकी हेल्प करी यहाँ पे जो आपने प्रैक्टिकल स्किल्स करी वो एग्जाम में कैसे हेल्प हुई आपकी हमारे जो प्रैक्टिकल स्किल्स थे या जितने भी प्रैक्टिकल्स आज तक हुए वो ऑलरेडी हमें प्रैक्टिस करवाए गए हमारी क्लासों में क्लासों में एक्चुअली सारा का सारा जो आ, हमारा सिलेबस था वो प्रैक्टिकल बेस्ड ही था क्योंकि थियोरी हम ऑलरेडी फर्स्ट सेकंड थर्ड ईयर में कवर कर चुके थे तो फिफ्थ और सिक्स ईयर हम आ, हमें काफ़ी ये मेडिकल एक्सपोजर मिला प्रैक्टिकल एक्सपोजर मिला तो फर्स्ट जितने भी हमारे जूनियर्स हैं उन्हें एक ही ये एडवाइस है कि अभी अगर वो फर्स्ट सेकंड ईयर में तो अपने थियोरी पे ध्यान दें क्योंकि यहाँ के टीचर्स बहुत कॉपरेटिव है तो वो सारे प्रैक्टिकल्स कवर कर देंगे और आज भी जितने भी प्रैक्टिकल्स थे वो ज़रा भी हार्ड नहीं लगे क्योंकि ऑलरेडी हमें प्रैक्टिस करवाए गए थे तो मतलब थ्रू आउट द ईयर तो मतलब कि जो न्यू एस्पिरेंट्स हैं जो एक ऐसे यूनिवर्सिटी को ढूंढना चाहते हैं जहाँ पे अच्छे क्लिनिकल एक्सपोजर हो जहाँ पे अच्छे से प्रैक्टिकल स्किल्स होते हो तो आप रेकमेंड कर रहे हो एक्चुअली यस यहाँ पे मतलब पहले से आए तो हमारे मैक्सिमम जितना भी क्लासें लगी वो हॉस्पिटल्स में लगी तो हॉस्पिटल्स में ऑब्वियसली हमें मेडिकल एक्सपोजर ज़्यादा मिला पेशेंट से हमारी बातें हुई भले ही लैंग्वेज बैरियर था फिर भी हमने थोड़े लैंग्वेज सीखी और उनसे बातें की नई चीज़ें सीखी इनका कल्चर भी सीखा और उसके साथ साथ हमारी पढ़ाई भी एकदम स्मूथली हो गई तो सर थैंक यू सो मच अपना समय देने के लिए थैंक यू सो मच सर थैंक यू सर Good morning sir congratulations on passing your state exam today Good morning thank you very much uh, since you've completed your state exam today can you please tell me your strategies for future and what advice would you like to give your juniors for preparing for the final exam that is the MCI FMG exam Okay so I cleared my OSCE exam today which is state examination for our university and uh, my strategy for my further examination that is fmg will be uh, focusing on my concepts and honing my skills there and uh, i will uh, try to complete all my 19 subjects for the time and i will try to include also three revisions for the fmg because it is very essential for us to clear fmg to have a doctor title in the india thank you so much and all the best sir thank you very much Good morning ma'am good morning congratulations on passing your state exam thank you so much so since you just had your exam can you please tell me about the difficulty level was it easy or hard for you and your classmates uh yeah uh for oski exam uh because we already did uh, our internship and we have practiced the clinical practice we have done with the patients and we have already practiced uh the study material given by our teacher so it was not that difficult for us uh clearing the exam and for my uh friends also uh everyone has passed with the flying colors and what was the passing percentage of the exam passing percentage for the exam uh, it is above 60% and uh, all of them are passed thank you so thank much you ma'am so
it went really well, more than my expectations because I was really nervous in the morning and it gets a little puzzled up when you're studying so many subjects together. But you will realize if you're putting all your effort every day, when you go to answer questions, there will be clarity that you'll be able to answer them. Plus, there was so much help from everybody in the college, in office and Sarisa as well. He has helped us and guided us and motivated us out of all, which is really supportive because you need motivation. When you're doing so many subjects, there were 23 subjects, it is really difficult with so many questions and topics, but this helps. Uh, how many hours a day did you study to prepare for this exam? I tried to study 5 to 6 hours every day, but there need to be a constant study you need to do because if you are not doing every day, it will not come off. You need to do start studying and then you need to do revisions and then you need to discuss with your friends as well. It makes learning very really easy. But you will remember we talked about it. And what are your future plans for FMG now? Try starting with the exam, you need help studying also. It created a discipline, now we just want to follow it really well and keep studying about it. And this exam was really similar to the topics that come in the exam. Thank you so much. Thank you. Good morning ma'am, good morning sir. Congratulations on your passing your state exam today. So what were the factors that made you choose Samarkand State Medical University? Hello, uh, my name is Gupta Vishal. Uh, the main factor for choosing the Samarkand State Medical University is due to Dr. Suni Sharma sir, uh, the MD house. Uh, he has helped a lot to doing all the things, uh, how we come here, how we accommodate here. And uh, how did MD house help you throughout the process? My name is Gautam Ishika. I am from Kota, Rajasthan. MD House helped, helped us in every single way possible like in our documentation process, in visa process and every time like if we need any kind of help like health issues, medical issues, everything MD House always helped us. And what are your personal advice for the parents who are in India who wants their children to study MBBS abroad? Uh, like uh, the city is safe uh, and the agency like the main thing is about the agency like whom we have to try to send a uh, uh, daughter or son to go to study abroad so like MD Hall is the bats for this thing and the summer kind of safe city thank you so much Ma'am, congratulations for passing your state exam today. As you've been here for more than four years now, please share your reviews on the safety about girls in the city. Okay, so first of all, let me start with the safety. Like when we say about Uzbekistan, mainly this country is very peaceful, and that's the main thing that attracted me uh, while I was living here. So, um, like, nyan keralati nana. So basically, and the parents are like they are very much conservative. So if a parent is thinking about like uh, like uh, sending their kids to abroad, the first thing that comes to their mind is like safety. So as for girls, that's the one and the only thing that comes to their mind. So safety here is like literally 100 percentage. I'm assuring that because uh, in here we have ISS members and the ISS committee that will help us with everything literally everything starting from like registration everything they will help us so other than that we back up under like uh, we will not be like uh, alone in the like like we have some support from ISS committee and that's very strong first of all and then uh, here we have patrolling. Police patrolling is like very, uh, very strict in here. Like Ratri Island, Namaki Matia Shat, Porto, and the Nangilam, like police patrolling, Epurkan, Illertukan. So it will be like, like very much safe. Namaki Padratri and Anglam, what Tiki Poor and Anglam, Gardim, or a Sahaya Mandula. Like it is very much safe here. And because I've been experiencing life in Uzbekistan, I could say that it's very safe right here. And then, um, uh, yeah. And personally, you will recommend all the parents of to I'll send their children because, here. Uh, first of all, uh, the education system is very nice in here like uh, practical they, the more practical like not like a pari in the chale like Videsh the boy putting a practical like like it's not like that here in Uzbekistan we are getting like night shifts we are getting duties we are getting like more practical stuff and um, of course a theory at the bowl and like balance so it's like very easy for us to like um, 
അതിന് നമുക്ക് ടോപ്പിക്സിനെ കണ്ടൻസിനെ മനസ്സിലാക്കാൻ ഭയങ്കര എളുപ്പമാണ് സോ യാ ഐ റെക്കമെൻഡ് ഹൈലി റെക്കമെൻഡ് പീപ്പിൾ ഹു ആർ ലൈക്ക് ലുക്കിംഗ് ഫോർ ലൈക്ക് ക്വാളിറ്റി എഡ്യൂക്കേഷൻ ദാറ്റ്സ് ദ മെയിൻ തിങ് ദാറ്റ് ദേ ആർ പ്രൊവൈഡിങ് എസ് ഹിയർ ആൻഡ് ഓഫ് കോഴ്സ് എം ഡി ഹൗസ് ദേ ആർ ഡൂയിങ് എ ഗ്രേറ്റ് ജോബ് ഹിയർ ആൻഡ് ഐ ഐ നൽ റെക്കമെൻഡ് ദിസ് യൂണിവേഴ്സിറ്റി എസ് വെൽ താങ്ക് യു സോ മച്ച് മാം Good afternoon ma'am. Congratulations on passing your state exam today. So can you please share your experience with Samarkand State Medical University? Uh, so good afternoon and thank you so much. Myself Makrani Yashvin. I'm from final year and I just gave my state exam and uh, during Ukraine Russia war we were very much uh, worried about our future but this university gave us uh, admission over here and here the clinical exposure is really nice with the clinical subjects like surgery, gynecology and here teachers are really helpful and dean office is like always open for us whenever we need and also there is one ISS uh, system is there which is like always ready to help the Indian students and yeah it was really nice experience thank you so much ma'am thank you